Contrary to popular belief, men aren't the only ones who suffer from thinning hair. It actually affects women too. So today I'm here with Dr. Marawala, who is a dermatologist, and Michael Duenas, a styling expert. Thinning hair, it's a big issue, right, doctor? It's a really big issue, and as you pointed out, we always think that it's a man's problem, but according to the American Hair Loss Association, women make up 40% of hair thinning sufferers. Wow. And when you combine both groups, 78% of salon clients were worried about thinning hair. What are the top reasons that you can suffer from thinning hair? Anything from genetics to an underlying medical condition, stress, the environment, if you're over styling your hair, or even heat. The key thing is that you go see a medical professional if you are feeling like you're losing your hair or it's thinning to make sure there's no underlying medical condition. Once you know that it's not a medical condition, it could be because you are a guilty of using a too tight ponytail, right? <laughs> yes, it can definitely be one of the lead causes. Why? What's wrong with that? Pulling the hair back too tight causes unnecessary tension around the scalp, which can damage your follicle. Okay, so what about some other hair don'ts? Because I think I, I probably fill out a lot of them. Overstyling, too high of heat on your hair, wrapping the, your hair too tight around your round brush when blow drying causes unnecessary tension. What about the right products? Can they help? I like to recommend products that deliver scalp health and solutions directly from the source. Like Nioxin, it's the number one stylist choice for thinning hair. It's also been the market leader for thinning hair for over 20 years. Doctor, once you diagnose the cause, there's hope, right? There's absolutely hope. So you won't see hair regrowth right away because your hair takes some time to grow back, but you will start noticing fine baby hairs around the scalp, and that's a really good sign. There you have it. There's some do's and don'ts to treat your thinning hair, and we'll see you next time on Total Look.